What's going on guys? So today we're gonna be feeding some of the snakes and the monitors and I got some I got four rat pups right here and I don't feed live I do buy the rats live and I'll tell you why in a second but I don't feed my snakes live I feed them dead rats now Beak I do have to feed live because he does not want to take uh dead rats from me because he is not he's very defensive so whenever I hold the rat he tries to strike at me and he'll bite the, the rat defensively and not uh, to eat him, Aru would eat uh, dead rat, a scar would as well, and so will the ball python smiley. And there's Jay though, right? He wanna looking at me. I guess he wants some food, but we'll feed him later. I don't have the food ready for him right now. Right now we're gonna feed all the snakes. All right, so this is your warning, and now I'm gonna be feeding the snakes. Like I said, it's gonna be dead rats. I'm not gonna be showing any live feedings. Um, but yeah, so if you don't wanna watch that, click off. I don't know why you clicked on the video in the first place. So title literally says what the video is about but anyways the first one is gonna be aru and let's see if she wants to take a dead mouse and i already have the mouse right here and the way that i kill these guys is i just snap their neck with my hands and that way the rats wouldn't have to suffer getting eaten by the snake and the snakes wouldn't be able to get bit by the rat but let's just wake up aru here and hopefully she'll take one all right, let's go ahead and feed Scar then, because Aru's taking a fat minute to wake up. Scar's usually pretty quick. All right, so Scar should be pretty fast to take it. Come on, bud. There he is, he already smells it. There we go. Just like that. And obviously they take some time to eat. So I'm probably, I'll just show you guys uh, little clips in between. I'm not going to be recording the whole thing. That way we can move on faster. So yeah, the reason why I buy live rats instead of dead rats is because, um, let's say the snake doesn't want to eat, right? If I get a dead rat and I thaw it and go to feed to the snake and the snake doesn't want to eat it, then that rat would be uh, wasted because you can't uh, freeze it again because it goes bad it'll start smelling bad after you unfreeze it and you can't feed it again at least that's what i've heard i've never actually um bought frozen rats um i do have frozen rats which are in this case whenever a snake doesn't want to eat one of the live ones i just freeze it and then i'll get the frozen ones unthaw it and feed it to the snakes next time which is what i'm going to be doing in this feeding i'm going to be feeding a uh, raptor which by the way he's a water monitor and i rarely feed him rodents uh, rodents aren't too great for water monitors but i like to feed him uh every once in a while so that he could get a little bit of calcium and he likes to eat them as well so just a little bit is all right but you don't want to overfeed them rodents all right so yeah we're gonna get one of these bad boys here for beak i'm gonna get this one right here that one's a little bit bigger we're gonna feed that one to the ball python but uh this one's for beak and beak is probably not gonna eat it um today he usually takes a while and it's usually at night when he eats but Let's just put him right there. It might take him a few days before he eats it. And in this case, the snake or the rat sometimes bite the snakes. In uh, this case, since it's a green tree python, that's never happened to me. Like the rat usually just stays on the ground. And whenever the snake's ready, the snake goes down and just snipes the rat. But um, I still don't like feeding uh, live rats, but I have to because Beak doesn't want to take frozen. I've tried several times already. Uh, Aru is still sleeping. She's being a little bit lazy today, but I'm gonna see if I can wake her up now. All right, so I sprayed her down a bit and I woke her up. So let's see if she wants to take the rat now. Come on, Aru. She usually eats them pretty fast, but she was sleeping, so it took her a bit. You can see Smiley is already ready to eat. I gotta clean out his enclosure soon. I already cleaned out um, well, I cleaned out all their waters today, and I cleaned out Scar's enclosure. I still gotta clean up Aru's, and the BX is pretty clean, but I still wanna clean it up a bit back there. And this guy needs to get cleaned up on the side there, and a little bit of uh, skin that's there, but I already took out most of it. Um, but anyways, let me show you guys what I do now with the frozen rats. Right here are all the frozen rats. I only got two right now. Uh, the big one is from one of the carpet pythons that didn't want to eat and the small one was from aru when she was going through shed um the big one i'm probably not going to use for a long time because you can see i sold my carpet pythons i don't have them anymore so 
I don't have anything that will eat this except maybe raptor, but I don't want to feed him one that big. So yeah, we'll just put this bad boy right in here. Put the water on to max temperature and put them right under there and let it on top a little bit. All right, so it looks like Aru doesn't want to eat. So let's go ahead and feed this guy. And she is ready, as you can see. Come on. Yeah, him and the bull are definitely the best eaters. Aru comes in right after. Aru's a really good eater as well, but I guess I rushed it a little bit too much and she got a little bit spooked. So um, I'm just gonna let her be for a little bit and I'll try feeding her again later. But let's check on this guy and see if he finished and it looks like he did. You can see the rat is right there. So, yep, there he is, already done. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up for Raptor so that we can feed him his rat. And I'm gonna be using tongs because my hands smell kind of like gasoline because I was working outside and I don't want him smelling that and not liking it. So let's go ahead and get this guy out here. We gotta get him to run around a little bit for his food. Oh, wow, that was a big jump. I was trying to get him to run around and put him back inside his cage using the same rat, but he was a little bit too fast. There he goes, look how quick he can demolish that rat. You gonna go ahead and finish that then? And there we go. Down the hatch. So yeah, again, this is something that I don't feed too often. He eats mostly like, I feed him a lot of roaches, super worms, I feed him chicken, um, things like that. But I don't want to feed him too many rodents because it's not great for him. Same thing for the savannah monitor, except the savannah monitor eats more uh, bugs than the water monitor. So yeah, now while he finishes, I'm gonna get some roaches so that he doesn't get a little excited and starts running around trying to explore things so we'll go ahead and get one of these come on here hey take the roach all right so yeah you can see now he's gonna go and hide so we don't want that He's going back into his enclosure. Hopefully he goes in by himself. Come on, go that way. I don't wanna grab him because he might get a little bit spooked. Come on, inside your enclosure, dude. There we go. He doesn't like going back sometimes. Sometimes he goes in by himself. Hey, hey, hey. Don't go that way, come on, back. So yeah, the reason why he did that today is because I already fed him earlier. So it's, well, he's not as food driven and I can't get him back into his enclosure. And sometimes he doesn't want to go back inside. So today he felt like exploring a little bit, but luckily he went back in by himself and I didn't have to grab him. All right, so now I'm going to feed off some crickets and I'm going to throw some in here with this guys so they could hunt a little bit. And I'm not gonna throw too many in here. These are my Cetinosaurus bakeri. So we're just gonna want a few in there. Well, let's go ahead and drop some in. So there we go, that's a good amount right there. Don't wanna give them too many. Yeah, these guys are good eaters. So he's gonna go ahead and get one probably now. There we go, the one back there got one. Oh, okay, he's probably a little bit confused with the camera. Look at her sticking her tongue out. All right, now these are for the black tree monitor. 
So let's go ahead and give them some. We'll just drop them all in here. And he's already going right for him. Now the black tree monitor, I could usually hand feed. Now that there's a good amount of crickets in here, he might not take it. So I'm gonna throw this away. And like I said, my hand smell like gasoline. So I don't smell like myself. So these guys are a little bit confused as to what's going on. Cause it looks like me, but it sounds like me and it, but it doesn't smell like me. So they're like, what the heck? And they could go off the smell a lot, so. Yeah, he's not, he's not gonna let me feed him today. So we're just gonna let him hunt by himself. All right, so now we're gonna be feeding the Savannah Monitor a uh, fuzzy. So let's go ahead and feed this guy. It's a little bit chunky because I fed him some eggs yesterday, but it's all right, we could feed him small mouse today. It's a rare treat and he doesn't get too much of. You can see how dark he is today. It's because it's been raining a lot and it's very cloudy. And he took that guy down. Like I said, I don't feed him too much. That's why I feed him smaller ones. Usually I feed him pinkies or fuzzies. And I don't like to feed too much meat to this guy because these guys are mostly insectivores. And here are my leopard tortoises. Right now I only have two left because I've sold off the rest. I kept the two high white ones. All right, there is the red foot tortoise. I am keeping him. And the other one is right here. It took me a little bit to find them. But yeah, these guys are doing amazing. Right now he was sleeping. He has his eyes closed. But you can see right there, open them up real quick and he has nice clear eyes. So these guys are doing really good. And I'm probably gonna start bringing them inside now because it's gonna start getting cold and it's starting to rain more. And the pond is still looking crystal clear. Um, you can see they have not ate any of the goldfish. There's a ton back there. So I guess the, the turtles don't like the goldfish too much. So I'm probably gonna have to get them out of here soon because I thought that the, all the goldfish would have been eaten by now. But uh, it doesn't look like they're going to eat them. We got the little baby snapping turtles in here. These guys are starting to get huge. Look at this guy. I think this is the biggest one. Look how big he is. I don't know if you guys saw the video where I got these guys, but I got 25 little babies. They're like this big and they've grown so much since I got them. They're doing great. And if you want to get yourself one, you can get them on shadowsreptiles.com slash shop. Still have, I think, around seven left. I'm not 100% sure, but um, a lot of them hide under these rocks. So there's about seven, six to eight of them um, left. So if you guys are interested, shadowsreptiles.com. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I wasn't able to make it too long and I haven't been posting much because of how crappy the weather has been. Sadly, it's been raining so much and well, it hasn't been raining too much, but it's been very cloudy. So I, I can't really film too good when it's cloudy and all the animals are less energetic. As you can see, Bonnie and Clyde are over here chilling, the Savannah monitor. So all the outdoor animals are uh, all sleepy. There's only one Herman's tortoise awake. Oh, right there. And you can see these guys always wake up and come right up to me. But since it's, since it's so dark, these guys are just chilling. So, so yeah, they don't they don't really come out too much when it's dark. The the yellowfoots do. The yellowfoots like to come out a lot more in the rain. So you can see there's two right there. Um, but yeah, the all the other animals like the redfoots and yellowfoots are the ones that like it a little bit more like this. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a lot of rain recently, so hopefully it stops raining as much. And I have been downsizing on the animals a bit. I sold off my leopards. Uh, my carpet pythons. What else? Um, I can't remember what else I've sold off, but I'm gonna be selling Smiley too. So you could get them on shadowsreptiles.com if you want them. Um, and I think that might be it. I don't want to sell. I'm definitely not gonna sell any of the rescues. Um, so Aru, the iguanas. I'm not gonna sell any of the iguanas. Uh, the monitors. I'm not selling any of them right now um but yeah the rescues are not going to be for sale only the animals that i've purchased or in uh smiley's case i didn't purchase him but i traded him uh for two tortoises so i'm not i don't sell the ones that i get in as rescues but yeah if you guys are interested shadowsreptiles.com you can see whatever i have available on there from tortoises to merch um videos everything you can find on there you can find the rescue page so that you can see all the rescues that I have. Well, not all of them. I haven't put all of them yet. But you can see some of my rescues 
um, and read about them a little bit. There's also videos that you could see on them. Um, but yeah, so so it was just a short video of me feeding the animals because I wanted to post something and give you guys a reason to, as to why I'm not posting. Um, I'm, I've got a lot of video ideas, but the, the weather hasn't been cooperating. I've been trying to, well, I'm not gonna tell you what I've been doing because I don't wanna spoil the surprise, but make sure you guys subscribe so you see it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And have a great day.